Hey guys, good evening, good evening. Uh, Wendy, hello, great to see you. Hi, Jorge, good evening, great to see you hello. too. Hello, Juan Carlos, good evening. Thank, Thank you so you. much for joining. Hi, Norma, good evening as well. How are you doing, guys? Are you doing all right? Did you rest the, during the weekend? Is everything okay? Uh, guys, am I breaking? Can you hear me well? Yes, teacher. I can hear you. Yes, um, okay, wait. I guess this is my volume. I can hardly hear you. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, so uh, Mr. Rivas, thank you so much for joining. Great to see you. Hi, Norma. Already, guys, thank you so much for joining. Thank you for being here. It's really good to see you. And uh, I hope you rested, you slept, and you had a very nice weekend, right? So um, let me see. I see Susana just joined. So thank you so much, Susana, uh, for joining as well. It's really good to see you. And well, guys, today we start our unit number three right um that is related to crisis and emergencies we are going to be um sharing and checking different kind of vocabulary uh today right to talk about some emergencies but to get us started um i came across this topic and i wanted to share uh, this topic with you so we can debate we can express ideas we can express opinions a little bit about this topic, right? So the topic, guys, is called um, Are Bad Words Bad? <laughs> so what do you think about bad words? Here we have some words, some vocabulary that we can use, right, to talk about bad words. For example, we have curse, we have swear, we have insult. So uh, there are different words we can use um, to talk about bad words. So um, to get started, guys, I found these just to give you some background. And it says cursing. Cursing is saying bad words, right? Saying words that are not adequate, that are not formal. Cursing may be a sign of intelligence. Well-educated people with plenty of words at their disposal a 2015 study found were better at coming up with coarse words than those who were less verbal fluent. Um, guys, what do you think about bad words? Do you normally say them? Do you use them? Do you express them? Uh, do you feel uh, comfortable with people around you saying them? Or do you feel that mm, they are not adequate? So what is your opinion, guys? Tell us a little bit about bad words. Do you have, hi, Ariela, good evening. Great to see you here. Um, so guys, what are your thoughts on this? Hi, George. Hello, teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening. Uh, in my opinion, teacher, I consider it is inadequate, <laughs> or or it depends depends of the 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 moment and the kind of people you are. Okay. But, uh, but to me, is uh, I currently I don't. You don't maybe, use them? Maybe if if I alone at that moment and maybe when uh, when uh, a car a, a different car do something that I consider is not appropriate mm -hmm. 
the I, course. Yes. <laughs> okay, so that is the only scenario. So when a car, I don't know, like uh, is zigzagging, for example, or um, hits don't you, ask or for permission. Ah, uh, uh, okay, or or is trying to to force or to push the way in. Okay, that's the only scenario when you curse. Normally, yes. Okay, <laughs> okay, uh, okay, okay. Sounds all right. Uh, do you have some coworkers who normally curse? Or yes, there are people. Definitely. I don't know, guys. If you are familiar, there are people um, who, who cannot speak with a cursing. They need to curse to feel. I don't know. Complete. I know. <laughs> I know that kind of people. Maybe one word per minute. One word per minute. Okay. Do you feel uncomfortable or it's okay? Whatever uh, you know. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't but matter. I, to I, I consider it's not appropriate. Okay. Okay. That sounds all right. Norma, I think you have a lot of things to tell us. <laughs> So tell us, please, what do you think about it? Hi, guys. Christia, good evening. Tatiana, good evening. Thank you for joining. Uh, Wendy, okay, please go ahead. Um, in my opinion, no, it's convenient. No, okay, they, so it's not convenient. The word that is, is people, in my case, I I say uh, <laughs> I say only only very hungry and and not not correct is not correct. <laughs> so you say all words when you are extremely angry. Yes. Extremely okay. Yes. So when you're mad, it's bad. Okay. It is bad attitude. It's oh. incorrect. Okay, no, but what no, is the no, what is no, the most no, common no. scenario, Wendy? When um, do for you feel example, super angry or mad? I, I am stressful, extreme stressful. Uh, for example, with a computer in my work, mm -hmm. in my work, or the printer. Uh, uh, okay, <laughs> I, I, not I, with customers, <laughs> not with people. No, no. <laughs> no. Okay, Constantly just with the computer or the printer. <laughs> only good words. Oh. And in your yeah. head, you know, a, a big list of vocabulary coming. <laughs> okay, but you said it is not appropriate. Okay. No, it's okay. not appropriate. Okay, but, but I think it's a norm. I don't know. Is it normal, guys? What do you think? Tell us what do you think about it? I mean, we are not we are not here to judge you. So just listen to your opinions, Ariela. Hi there. Hi okay. there. How you doing? I'm fine. I think that it's just worse. Okay. But we as a person, we give it meaning. Uh, okay. So it's like, yeah, it's a bad word. I mean. <laughs> I mean, who gives <laughs> okay? So, Do you say them? So yes, of course. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. What is the most common scenario where, uh, when, or where you say them? I think it's so normal to me <laughs> when I am chatting with someone, just like to express myself. I think. There are words with some kind of power. Mm. When you are expressing like super stressful, you said it like mm -hmm. you're getting out some weight of your shoulders. I don't know. When okay. you are um, like exciting, like Oh my gosh, I, I don't know. So, I so really it know. helps you uh, like to release a stress? No, I mean, that is what I, I heard. I saw it. Mm -hmm. Like when you are angry, you use it to. 
like whatever opinion, whatever you wanna say, when you say a bad word, you feel better, something like that. No, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you this about what I see in here. Okay. But I say it like a normal thing. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So you say, do you say them regularly? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is it more common in English or in Spanish? In Spanish. Ah, uh, okay. It's, Not in English. More, more powerful. <laughs> so in <laughs> Spanish, it feels, well, the thing is that in Spanish, we have a lot of words. Mm. We do have a, a lot of expressions we use. I feel more comfortable um, cursing in English, you know, uh, rather than in Spanish. In mm -hmm. Spanish, I only have one word I use, and then that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, what do you think about it? Is, is this all right? Are bad words really bad? Can they help us with the stress, or do they cause more stress? What do you think? What are your thoughts? I, I don't know, um, teacher. teacher. I, I, I'll, I, I'll, um, I, um, the words, oh, bad, bad words depend, um, the word, common, the words, the bad words. Mm, you said that, common? Yes, and I don't know. Uh, the, <laughs> the word, bad word, okay. very bad word. Okay. And other, uh, less, less, a little bad. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> And it, these word, these words uh, are common. Okay. Mm, yeah, right. There are some words that are uh, like very regular in people, so they Be are sure. common. You said yes, uh, Jorge. Chauvinism is correct. That word. Yes, chauvinism. Chauvinism. I I don't know if it's chauvinism. But mm -hmm. I, I really uh, find when mm -hmm. the, the woman said that word, uh, kind of, I don't know, like... Uncomfortable? Uh, uh, not like uncomfortable, just mm -hmm. like uh, a shame, maybe. I don't know why, but mm -hmm. I, I don't know if it's true and it's... Um, I prefer or I, mm -hmm. I, I, I feel normal when men say that word, but, but oh. I know women that say that kind of word and I find some, some weird. Okay. But when you say weird, uh, you mean you find them, um, you find it like disgusting? Does it sound un uncomfortable that a woman is saying bad words, or, or what? What exactly um, is the feeling that you get? Uh, it's like it's like a shame, maybe. Shame, a shame of the woman. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh. I don't, okay. I don't know why I consider it okay. inappropriate. And you find it common in men. Yes. Okay, interesting. I, I don't know if it's chauvinism. Uh, I think it's something cultural, right? The, I mean, a woman is not supposed to smoke. A woman is not supposed to, to drink. A woman is not supposed to say bad words. It's, Probably cultural. I don't know. Guys, what do you think? It's true, teacher. It's true. In women, very ugly, say bad words. Oh, okay. Okay, guys, what do you think? I think it's common. <laughs> uh, for me, it's like, okay, I mean, but uh -huh, guys, what, what's your opinion on that? I think it's, it's the pen of the way that you want to use. Okay. Um, 
because if I'm angry, mm -hmm. um, maybe I can use the words, but but in my case, I don't use bad words because I don't like it. Um, oh. Yes, I use the words only in special moments. <laughs> For example, uh, so you use them, but not very often. Not very often, yes. In what but, the scenarios? Um, in the traffic jam, <laughs> uh, okay. I can use it, yes, okay. uh, because I really hate the, the people that drive so bad. And, okay. and I don't know, maybe when I'm frustrated in my work, but it's only for myself. I didn't share with the other people and I didn't tell, and, and I don't use with other people uh, just okay. in myself, in my mind. But you don't I express think, it. I don't express it yet because ah, I, okay. I feel I feel kind of dirty. I don't know. I, I don't like to to <laughs> express with uh, loud. <laughs> I don't ah, like it. Okay. Oh, well, it's totally yeah. fine. All right. Um, and it caught my attention this other part that Jorge mentioned that uh women uh, uh, and Wendy also supports this that um it sounds strange in women to say bad words. Do you agree with that? Uh, yes, I agree with that. I don't like to to hear a woman say about the world. Oh, okay, interesting. So we got three people with the same opinion, guys. What do you think? Do you support the same idea? Do you have a different opinion on it? Interesting. Uh, hi, Silvia. Good evening, Olga. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Hi, Manuel. Great to see you. Hi, Anna. Thank you for joining. Um, so guys, what do you think about this one? Also, Miss, I I, on, I only want to to add. A sure, thing. go ahead. Um, uh, exists one word in Spanish uh, that I I really don't like to hear uh, in women, and is maje. It's not a bad word, but for oh. me, it's not good. And I don't know. I I don't like uh, when I hear that in a woman. <laughs> okay well normally you use it for a buddy right so it's like hey buddy yeah. like for a friend okay. yes but for me it's not sound good mm, okay okay all right <laughs> interesting guys what else do you want to tell us about it i think i saw manuel ready hi manuel hello teacher Hi there. Uh, so, uh, what can you tell us about this one? We're discussing about bad words. Hi, Claudia. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Uh, I, in my opinion, teacher, uh, I think uh, the bad words, obviously, is no. Uh, in my case, pues, uh, I don't use this type of words in even when I when I I am uh, anger. Uh, you don't or, or disgust. Yes, teacher, because uh, I, I don't know. But I I am uh, uh, a few years ago when I when I say my last <laughs> bad word, uh, but it's a, it's not a part of me. Uh, in my family, my daughter, my my wife, mm -hmm. uh, we we don't use and and. I, I saw in a specific situation of, of life, uh, for example, in a meeting, uh, in a discussion, uh, in the work, people, uh, I, don't, I don't know, what do you say? Is, uh, uh, use use to is the correct mm -hmm. uh, to use this type of work when when they are 
uh, when when they when their expression is uh, I think it's when they, they are uh, anger. Mm, okay, okay. But, yeah, but, but you, you're right. Uh, sorry, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, many people say uh, bad words because it's part of their uh, speak. Naturally, <laughs> the words came, came out. Mm -hmm. But in my case, uh, I don't use. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, and, and that is a really good point. For some people, it is unnatural, right? That you listen to them saying bad words and you don't feel offended. It's like, yes. ah, oh, so it's so normal, you know, it's a common. All right, yes. interesting. Thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you for your opinion, guys. Actually, it sounds really nice. Um, and I got to know a different part that is, uh, I'm still, you know, thinking about um, if women swearing sounds um, kind of uncommon or rare. So I'm like, what? I have never thought about it. <laughs> I will have nightmares <laughs> thinking about it. All right, guys. So thank you so much. Now, um, we're going to talk about crisis a little bit today, but before I starting, uh, guys, I have a little reading that we have left behind. This is from unit number two. Uh, guys, we are going to, um, this is in your material, uh, the last page of unit number two. I don't know if you will be able to see my screen because I think the text is so small, but if you have it in your computer, if you have it printed, uh, please, you can, you know, bring it, um, uh, bring it up or get it ready. This is page, one second. This is page 24. No, no, no. Uh, well, 24 in the material, right? But if you have the material printed, this one says page, hold on a second. Oh yeah, page 24. So sure. that is the one. Mm -hmm. This is about conflict management, right? That is the last reading we have from that one. But guys, we are going to do it with some strategies. Uh, reading is easy if you apply some strategies. Today, guys, uh, we are going to complete the exercise, but we are going to do it really fast. We are going to do something that is called scanning. Uh, what is the scanning, guys? Have you ever seen the scanner? That the scanner goes just like zoom and super fast. We will do the same. When we read, uh, if you ever take a test or if you take a reading exam or if you take TOEFL or any evaluation or for work, you know, and you have something like this, please don't read, don't start reading because you will try to understand the reading and the time goes by and the time finishes and you have not finished. So what do we do with the scanning? It is really easy. This is only for test evaluations. Um, first, don't read, but go to the equations. That is a step number one. Go to the equations, read the equation. Uh, and this is only true false. It says, choose true or false for the statement below refer to the article and correct the false information. So guys, you don't need to read and understand everything. You just go look for a word and you go with the text like Ooh, scanning, super fast. Have you ever seen Cantinflas? So Cantinflas goes, goes just like line by line, but really fast. We will do the same. Um, so guys, these are activities that are done with time and I just want you to look for one answer. Number one says the conflict was a subtle tension developed over a power struggle at the office. So super quick, look for uh, number one, something related to conflict or power struggle or tension, something like that, like, but go super quick. Can you read it and can you tell me if this is true or false, please? Now you go to the text and try to look for the answer, but quickly, really fast.
if you don't get number one, let's go to number two, because these are activities with time, right? You gotta be super fast. Number two says the other party, like the other person, was very aggressive about his chair taking. Guys, can you look for chair really quick and find something related to the chair and tell me if yes or no, if it is true or false? In the first paragraph, teacher. The first paragraph? What do you have? Number one or number two? Number two, office equipment, chairs, desk. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. And it says here, the other party was very aggressive. In, in Can you look second, for something? Uh -huh, number two. I just took a random chair from it. Uh -huh, exactly, random chair. So the answer is true or false. The other party was very aggressive about his chair being taken. True. True, right? And you can see that in the text. So um, let me see. So you can see that in the text, it says here, he was very aggressive about the fact I had taken his chair. Okay, so yes, that is true. Number three, guys, the employee was interviewed by his manager about the incident with the chair, true or false? So read fast, really fast. Uh, so they had uh, an interview. The employee was interviewed by his manager about the accident. Yes, I mean the manager of the account. I think mm. it's true. True? So the, the employee was interviewed. Well, it says something related, right? Uh, it says here, the next day I had my coaching oh. station. It's true, so, teacher. It might be true because at the end, a, a coaching session is like an interview, right? So yes. yeah, we can say that is true. Okay, number four, the employee didn't apologize to the offended party. Party is the person. So the yes. employee didn't apologize. True or false? True. Uh, where, where did you find it? Um, I will have apologized to my coworker and be done with it. There we go, exactly. Uh, and uh, number five, the team manager was effective at dealing with the conflict. True or false? What do you think? Wait. Um, I think it's true. The team manager was effective at dealing with the conflict. So the conflict was about a chair, you know, and uh, they had a coaching session. They told this person that um was a bully, right? So do you think that it was okay? Was the person effective? It's false. No. I false. I think false. false. I think ah, yes. let's read the last part. Let's read the last part. This situation continued with continue. a bad atmosphere in the group until the employee was changed What's to a team different team. team. So the team manager was effective? Mm, no, yeah. right? That was not. Okay. And the last one, the conflict was resolved, but the atmosphere continued after that? Was the conflict resolved? True. Yes. True. 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 Until the employee was changed to a different team. Mm -hmm. Mm, okay, so at Maybe. that very moment, yeah, kind of, yes. right? Kind of. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and the person says actually here in this paragraph, it says, um, let me see, I felt that there was no need for my team manager to bring her superior to scold me for something so silly. Um, and so at the end, yeah, it was resolved. The atmosphere continued, that is true. All right, so guys, um, this is a scanning. And number one, we miss number one. The conflict was a subtle tension 
over a power struggle at the office. Is that true or false? Is that a power struggle? No. The tension is about power? No, right? Yeah. It's about a chair. Yeah. <laughs> so it was yeah. about a chair. Okay. Um, this is called a scanning, guys. So whenever we have a reading exercise, please, no lo lean todo. <laughs> don't read it. You don't need to. You don't need to understand it. Especially in this kind of exercises, the idea is just look for an answer. So this is a reading technique. Um, so imagine 20 minutes. Acabamos de hacerlo probably five or ten. So um, this is what we normally do with this kind of exercises. Um, so no, Selene, you don't read it. Guys, what do you think about this situation? Have you ever had a problem about a chair, about a table, about a desk, about a spot? Something super silly that gets into big um, offenses? In my school. Ariela, have you been into this situation? Yes, maybe in, in school. I remember the girls were really inchy about his chair. Oh. And you cannot sit there because she was there. Okay. Did you ever get in trouble because of that? Yes. Uh, what kind of trouble were you I mean, were, were you uh, expelled from a school were you scolded not, not that kind of solution but i just sat there and that's it i mean <laughs> is i cheer go find another uh, okay yes oh but they didn't like bully you after that mm, i have like people say cara de chucho, so <laughs> skinny, but no. Okay, <laughs> but a troublemaker. <laughs> okay, kinda. okay, kind of. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, because sometimes, you know, we get every kind of person. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to go over this reading exercise because uh, I thought that it was important to complete also uh, this um, technique, right? That is really interesting and useful in reading. All right, guys, um, we are going to talk today about some crises, some emergencies. But before doing that, I have some expressions, some words that we are going to be using. We have panic, we have zero visibility, restored, backed up, casualty, estimate, injury, Graphic conditions, in effect, and slippery. So all of the words are related to emergencies. Guys, I'll give you five minutes um, so we can match the words on the left, these words with the number, with the meaning that is right here. Um, so panic, what do you think it's pa a panic from A to J? or zero visibility, what is zero visibility, right? So guys, I'll give you five minutes to do the exercise. So just match both parts, both halves.
Let me know, guys, when you finish. Teacher. Hi, Miss. Hi, Diana. How are you doing? Teacher, sorry. I'm just going as a listener because I'm driving to Sonsonate. Oh, my God. Yes, of course. Be careful, Miss. Yes. Thank you, Super teacher. Be careful on your way. No worries. Hi, Nelson. Thanks for joining. I just saw... No. Mr. Castanea mm. too. Hi, Mr. Baye. How are you, Nelson? Everything good? Hi, all good. Nice. Nice to hear that. And I think I also saw me sit on. Yes. Hi, Mary. Good evening. Okay, guys. Let me know when you finish. Um, so we can check. Good evening. How are you? I am sick. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Did you still see? Yes. Oh, that's so bad. But are you like in treatment or something? Excuse me, teacher. Uh, I am. Um... <clears throat> oh, you are sick. <laughs> okay, no worries. No worries. That's that's fine. Yeah, I get to hear your voice. I hope you feel better. Hope you get over soon.
Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, thank you so much, Jorge. All right, guys. So, okay, cool, cool, super nice. So let's check it, guys. Um, so what do you have in number one? Um as bunny. D. Letter D. C. Or letter C. C. Oh, okay, letter C, right? Letter C. Sudden fear or anxiety. C. All right. Yes, letter C. What about zero visibility? What do you have in there? F. F. Let me see if I can F. bring another one. Unable to see because of weather condition usually snow. Okay, exactly. Um, well, it says there is snow, but sometimes in our country when it's raining, you know, cats and dogs, we yes. also have zero visibility. It's very dangerous too, right? Mm -hmm. The letter F. Restore. What about restore? Uh, J. 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 J, to bring back to a former or original condition, exactly like a car, you can restore it. So what else can you restore? Cars, documents, pictures, mm. paintings, right? So we can restore all of them. Backtap, what is backtap? What do you have in number four? Backtap. A lower rule that has started is starting or will start. Okay, guys, do you have the same? Letter E. I don't answer that. <laughs> I don't know, teacher. I don't know that word. Okay, probably it's a new word. Uh, guys, do I you have it? Letter B. I think that the A. Okay. Okay, we're gonna check that in a moment, no worries. We are going to do discrimination here. Okay, let's continue mm -hmm. later. We come back with back tap, uh, just to make sure we got one of those answers. Casualty, number five, what do you have in casualty? H. You check this in, um, in intermediate three, if I'm not mistaken. Letter H, a person killed or injured, yes. So that is a casualty. Mm, number six, estimate. D. D, an approximate. Okay, an approximate number. Um, injury. What is number seven? Injury. A. Letter I. I. Letter I. Okay. I. Damage or loss. Exactly. So that is inju injury. Uh, traffic conditions. Letter A. 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 Okay. A. Letter A. Okay, or letter B. A. A letter A, so everybody A. agrees on that. Okay. All right. What about number nine in effect? Um, D. <clears throat> letter D. And a pro um mm, let me see. In effect. Letter G. Okay, hold on. Letter G. Oh, guys, what do you have in effect? I say letter D. Okay. An approximate judgment or calculation? And do you have the same guys? Do you have something different? Estimate. That would be like, okay, an estimate. estimate. Okay. What about the rest? What do you have in effect and the slippery? <clears throat> Let's go over um something that is called Le discrimination. I said letter B. Give me one Le second. Is le letter, letter B. Okay. Take a look here. Hold on a sec. Okay, so let's take a look and let's check the ones we know and then we finish with the ones we don't know. Um, especially we do this, you know, uh, when we don't have a dictionary or we don't have a translator at hand. So this helps a lot. You just go with discrimination. So what do we know? Uh, we have a slippery. So a slippery is... A 
Later, guys, what do you have in number 10? Letter B. Letter B, something that is difficult to walk or drive. And the keyword over here is what it says, uh, you can fall, right? So that is a slippery, like the street can be a slippery. Okay, so we are missing just two. We are missing in effect, and we are missing back tap. So estimate number six, we said that was an approximate judgment or calculation. So what do you think back tap and in effect can be? I think uh, Mr. Mario, what, what do you say about a back tap? Uh, I said uh, that is a lot of cars that are not able to move, mm -hmm. but only be slowly. There we go. I don't know if you have heard the expression like back to back, right? Uh, when you're talking about a uh, calls, uh, call center industry and all that stuff. And here we have back tap. So a lot of cars that are not able to move. So that is number four. Four is letter A. In that case, what is number nine? In effect. Letter A. So in effect would be letter What was the, e. letter, the, the number four? Number four e. is letter A, the ah, first. E. A lot of cars that I know that are not able to move. So exactly, in effect, is a law or rule that has started or is starting or will e. start. I don't know if you have heard the expression va a entrar en efecto. So in English, we use the expression, um, it goes in effect right so oh this will start this time or that time so um guys super quick um can you please with the new vocabulary with the words that are kind of new for you uh can you write a sentence using the words that are new only in the only the words that you don't know please i will give you some time so you can write them down for example if the word casualty is new for you uh, what can we say about casualty? We know that casualty are people who died uh, or who passed away during an event, right? For example, there was, um, I don't know, last weekend there was a car accident, but there were no casualties. There were, there were no casualties casualties so casualties is ah there were no dead people right so nobody died that is a way to say no casualties so what about the rest of them um i'll give you some minutes guys so you can check the words that are new uh panic i don't think you that is new for you but probably it is the word back tap or casualty or slippery or estimate i don't know so select if two words are new two sentences if you see four new words, four sentences, guys. I'll give you five. You can write them in the... Oh, okay. Okay, Maria, no problem. That's all right. So I'll give you some minutes, guys. You can write them in the chat if that works for you. And I can also um, see you writing, guys. I haven't seen you writing. So <laughs> you can write them in the chat as well.
teacher casualty what what letter b um casualty is a person killed or injured in an no. accident or war letter h okay. mm -hmm. so you. um casualty is like como victima right okay. so but um let me see there is another word in spanish but victima not in the sense of um no i lesionado it's not lesionado well we normally translate it as dead people so that's casualty okay. Mm -hmm. okay. and it can be super confusing with the word casualidad in spanish right mm -hmm. <laughs> so no hay casualidades but no so casualties are dead people uh -huh. or injured people in effect what um in effect yeah. is a letter e a local <laughs> rule that has started is starting or will start okay. normally in effect we use it with the word go or goes in effect right okay. um, como va in effect. Mm -hmm. go in effect, go in effect. Okay. yes um like oh for example this law uh, the transportation law that is going to change the fees for the, uh, for traffic for traffic i don't know how, how what is that um uh, oh for tickets you know the new transportation law that is going to change the amount of the tickets um will go in effect in 2023 for example right so we we'll go in effect is will start mm -hmm. uh, teacher I have the one sentence. Mm, okay, okay, tell us, tell us. Today, the road to my house was backed up, backed up. Oh, it was backed up, uh-huh. Okay, okay, yeah, it sounds all right. It was backed up, we can use it as an adjective, okay. But in Spanish, backed up is como está lleno. Mm -hmm. Like a terrible uh, congestionamiento, mm -hmm. like a terrible traffic jam. A tope, as yes. I saw in the dictionary. Mm -hmm. Like back to back, right? So super close. Uh huh. Nothing moves. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Back up. Okay, guys, I'll give you some minutes so you can finish with your examples and let me know when you're ready.
Okay, guys, do you have a couple of examples? Do you have any example with the slippery? Is that a new word for you? Are you familiar with that one? Slippery. Remember, guys, that a slippery is like when everything is wet, right? Maybe the road, maybe the street, maybe the floor. So you can say, ah, está, um, es fácil de deslizarse, right? So it is a slippery. Any example, have, any sentence have, with a slippery? Mm -hmm. I have one with a slippery. Ah, okay, tell us, tell us. I prayed to my sister for clean my house and the floor <laughs> was so slippery. <laughs> Very nice. I thought you were going to say I paid <laughs> to clean the house and I fell down. <laughs> Okay, yeah, or guys, when have you ever gone to a bank um, and the floor of the bank is so slippery that you almost fall down, you know? So you need to walk super slowly, right? So that is a slippery. Do you have any other sentence, guys? Any other example? Anybody else? The love of children is in effect this month. Ah, okay. So you got in effect. So the love for children goes in effect this month. Okay. Yes, yeah, sounds really good. Um, so maybe I will change just something. And that's the is cambiamola por goes. The love for children goes in effect. Mm -hmm. Entra en vigor, oh. right? Goes in oh. effect. Mm -hmm. That is goes entra en vigor. Okay. Yes. Any other example, uh, guys? How do you how do you spell? Oh, just G go. G-O-E-S, goes. G-O-E-S, G-O-E-S, exactly, goes in effect. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other example, any other word? Teacher, is correct when I learned to drive, mm -hmm. I was panic, panic mm -hmm. to pass by the trailer. Oh, that's a really good example. Probably um, instead of I was, I have. So I had panic. Uh -huh, so I had panic. I have. I have. I yes, have. I had panic. Todavía tiene. Are you still in panic when you go next to a trail, uh, like a big truck or a lorry yes. or a bus? Yes, I between. <laughs> <laughs> or when you go in the middle, right? And like a bus here, bus here. Oh, that's super scary. I, yes, it's a panic. <laughs> you know, I had panic when I went to um, San Vicente. Uh, because in San Vicente, you only see rastra, rastas, no, rastras, right? <laughs> so you see these big tracks. And they start making the sound of, oh, that is, I got in panic, you know? <laughs> so that is horrible. Okay, guys, any other example? Do you have more? Is correct the car's in injury? No sé cómo se pronuncia. Injury, yes, that is correct. The car's injury, injury. okay. The the car's injury will be estimated for the insurance career. Mm, the car's injury, the car's injury will be estimated for the insurance. For the ins insurance career. For the insurance career. But let me just get this yes. straight. So the car's injuries, como, uh, how do you understand this in Spanish? Oh, los daños. Uh, uh -huh, los okay. daños del vehículo. The injury, the injury. Mm, uh, but I have to be super honest. Um, for for um, cars, for places, we use the word damage. Uh, for example, the car oh, damage okay. or the building damage, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But for a person, we use injury. So mm -hmm. injury is como, si también es, you know, daños, pero en personas, I would say. So okay. damage for objects mm -hmm, and injuries for people. So, but, but, okay, let's just the same idea. Let's come to a sentence. Cars damage will be estimated for the insurance. Por las, o sea, que se van a ser cubiertos por la aseguradora, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yes, for the insurance company. Okay, yeah, the car mm -hmm. damage will be covered okay. um, 
or will be estimated in the insurance company. Uh -huh. Okay, sounds all right, sounds good. Okay. Do you have any other guys, any other examples? Yes. I'm sorry. Yes, 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 tell me. When do you use when when you use the word casualty mm -hmm. uh, is to refer people dead or or not? Um I have seen it, you know, like in uh people who suffer like a sort of accident. And normally a casualty is a dead one, but in the definition here it says or injured in an accident. So let me just make sure. Mm. But you use this word just to report a statistic, maybe? Mm. No, actually, no, because we, we use it normally um, more than dead people. In the in the same way that victim. Um, and, oh, in Spanish, it is called bajas. So you're, yeah, you're talking about dead people. Mm -hmm. You're talking about people who suffer like a trauma and are no longer able to, uh, to perform, right? right? Mm -hmm. So yes, that would be casualty. So normally it's a dead person or it says injured, but, um, that are super in really bad conditions, so they can no longer uh, participate. Si hablamos de la armada, you know, they can no longer be in the army, or if they are cops, they can no longer be cops. Mm -hmm. So it is more, and uh, in normal people, dead people. So that would be um, a casualty. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. So guys, do you have more? Do you have more examples? Are we all right? No more new words? No more examples. Teacher, yes, Mr. After the earthquake, I had sudden fear and anxiety. Ah, okay. Okay. Sounds all right. Sounds all right. Um, Teacher, okay, I have one. Yes, yes. Tell us, tell us. Um, yesterday, I went to the mall and the floor was so slippery the night. Almost okay. fell down. Okay. The Night. Okay, and I almost fell down. Yes, very good. That is a slippery. Anxiety. Okay. <laughs> okay, we listened to that. Okay, guys, so let's practice just pronunciation. Repeat with me, please. A slippery. Slippery. Okay. Uh, injury. 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 Casualty. 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 Remember that casualty no es casualidad, right? So casualty is dead people, hurt people, right? Uh, restore. 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 Okay, and this word, ansayari. 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 Very nice. Yes, so ansayari. Exactly. Four syllables. Okay, guys. Very good. Really, really nice. Now, um, we are talking today a, a little bit about some accidents and emergencies, but we are going to get started with natural disasters. Guys, I believe everybody, um, nobody is in the 20s, right? Who is the youngest of the group, guys? Define young. <laughs> <laughs> okay, younger than 25? <laughs> I Is anybody so. younger than that? Nobody? I oh, okay. Okay, so I guess everybody was um, suffered or remember the um, earthquake in 2001, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, so we are in the in the same, you know, age branch and everything. Okay, guys, we're going to talk a little bit about disasters, risk, okay? And uh, we have different kind of disasters. What do you remember, guys? What kind of disasters can you name? Earthquakes. Okay, earthquakes. What else? El Salvador, you know, is super 
um, open to different kinds of disasters. So what are the most common? Look at the pictures here, for example. So we can have earthquakes. What else? Storm. Storms, meat, <laughs> so hurricanes, uh huh. Fire. Fires, yes. What about water? When there is a lot of water, what in the, in the street and houses? Mr. Rivas, tell us. Inundaciones. <laughs> yes, and in English, how do we call them? Inundations. Close, but no. <laughs> <It's not laughs> <here. laughs> Any idea? How do you say uh, like inundaciones that Mr. Rivas mentioned? Something about flood. Flood. Yes, exactly. Flood or flooding. Yes. Um, so th there we go. Uh, we have also tornadoes in El Salvador. I think we will never have one. I don't know if you know, guys. Give us more info. We, we, we have we have volcano teacher. Volcanoes and active volcanoes. You know. So we have San Salvador's yeah. volcano. We have uh, Isalco. Volcano, Isalco volcano. Isalco volcano. Isalco volcano. Chaparrastique's volcano. Chaparrastique. What else? Chinchontepe. San Vicente. Ah, that is active too, right? Yes. And Ilopango, guys? The one in Ilopango? No, not yeah. that, that is not active anymore, active. right? It was in, in many years ago. Yes, Ilopango is a volcano. It's a volcano. Yeah, actually, it's a volcano, actually, it's a, right? it's a lake. But now, um, yes, so but it it's, is, a, it's an active, it's an active volcano. It's a crater. Okay. So it is active, right? Yes. yes. I, I was Same. not sure. Okay. Okay. Then we have a different kind of, well, you have also this accident or this thing that happens in Los Chorros all the time. Uh, so rocks falling down, uh, trees falling yes. down. Any idea how we call it? That has a name, you know, or what happened in Las Colinas. So there is a name for that. Do you have any idea how we call it? The rumbation. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the rumbation, Mr. Hobo is going to tell us. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, we have some names, right, for all those things. Guys, in the chat, I shared a, um, a link, right? Uh, right. So you no. Uh -huh. You will find it in the video. Unfortunately, I cannot play it here, but I'll give you some seconds. I'll give you like three minutes. The video Perfect. is like seven. The video is like seven minutes, but uh, um, that is pretty long. I'll give you like three, four, so you can see the most common kind of um, emergencies and crisis that we can get. So click on the link, guys. Look at the disasters. Get the names, how you say the room best, and all those things. Um, and uh, you tell me in three minutes. So watch the video, guys. Check the video, please. Let me just make sure that it, it works. Can you play it? Can you play the video? Is it working? Landslide, not a joke. Oh, yes, that's a landslide. <laughs> That's a landslide. I remember that. I, I don't know how I remember that. No, that's <laughs> a landslide. And sometimes it is not land, but sometimes it is mudslide. So what is falling down is mud, right? Like, um, oh my God, how do you say that? Lodo, right? So that's mudslide. So landslide, mudslide. Guys, I'll give you some minutes. Uh, please check the video, watch it, get new words, get new vocabulary, and then we complete the exercise here. So I'll give you some minutes.
Hi. Hi, did you finish the video? Yes. Yes, the very nice. Video is in Spanish. No, only one. <laughs> okay, only the first. Okay, how was it? Did you get, uh, did you understand like most of it? Most of the things you have there? Most of, most of the things you heard in the video? Yes. Yes, teacher. Super. Okay. Really, really good. Um, so what are some of the um of the disasters and risks that are mentioned in the video, guys? So you have earthquakes. Earthquakes, volcano eruption. Mm -hmm. So volcano uh, volcanic mm -hmm. eruption or volcanoes. Uh -huh. What else? Building. Hurricane. Hurricanes. Okay. Yeah. Floating. floating, floating, yes. I think you heard. Sylvia, the phone. Okay, wildfire. Oh, wildfires, yes, guys. We have earthquakes, and we have the other one when it is kind of soft. How do you call it? Does uh, earthquake is when it is like super strong, right? And everything moves. And when it is just like a shape. Um, I'm going to yeah, help you here. Temblor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so you have terremoto and temblor, exactly. So, okay. but if it is only like a shake, we call it a tremor, right? Okay. Oh, there was a tremor. So, tremor is just like that. Oh, Okay, and an earthquake. Okay, so you gotta worry. <laughs> okay, because it's something kind of more difficult. So take a look at this little exercise. Here we have natural disasters and risk, and we have some descriptions, and uh, we have these little um, crosswords. I don't know how good you are with these things. Let's check it out, right? So um, we have, for example, a very strong wind in West Atlantic. In the video, they mentioned that there are some winds in the Atlantic. Okay. There are some winds in the Pacific Ocean. So how do you call the ones in the Atlantic? Hurricane? Is that so? Hurricane. Okay. okay, so let's see if it matches, right? So we go like H, U, R, R I C A N N E. And guys, if you can help me with the rest of it, uh, if you are in the computer, you have the option to um, write in my screen. So you can also write over there and you can help me complete it. So then we have number three, tidal wave um, across, right? You have then number four, a large amount of water spread two, from a river. Uh -huh. Earthquake. Number two, a sudden violent, okay, earthquake. Number earthquake. two. Okay, so we got earthquake. Number three. Earthquake. earthquake. Okay, so earthquake. Okay, hopefully I can make it match. Okay, there we go. So earthquake. Okay, yeah, that works. What about the rest of them? Three tsunami. Mm -hmm. Three tsunami. Okay, so let me just write it here. T S U. N A M I. Oh, very nice. There we go. Mm -hmm. So, tsunami. Okay. Cool. Number three is tornado. Number three, tornado. Oh, we are all oh, here. Three. Is that tornado? Just write it here. Two. Okay. 
Okay, so yeah, tornado. Okay, very nice. That's good. Okay. Floating. No. Which one? Um, oh, the six is damage. Number six is damage. A very bad event causing harm or death. Um, let's take a look. Yeah. Oh, but we are missing some letters. Maybe not. No. Mm, no. I'll give you a clue. I'll give you a clue. No. I'll give you a clue. Number six, the second letter is I. D-I. Disaster. Yes. No. <laughs> yes, disaster. T-E-R. Okay, there we go. Disaster, exactly. That is something serious. Okay. We, are, we need your help, guys. Help us with Teacher, the others. Number five is lava. Lava. Okay, L, A, and V. Okay, so lava. All right. We are missing four, seven, eight, and nine. Help us, guys. And number number four. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I remember in Spanish, inundación. <laughs> Okay, Flood. and in English? <laughs> Flood. Okay, yes. So F, L, O, O, D. Okay, uh, yes, we can call it flood or flooding, right? Okay, yes, yes, yes. we're missing seven, eight, and nine. Almost done, guys. No, eight. Eva evacuate. No. Oh, very nice. Yes. So evacuate. E the Q A. Okay. Evacuate. There we go. Very good. Seven and nine. The night is draw. Number ah, seven. Ah, okay. Number so seven. D R. Oops. O U E H N T. Yes, very good. So that is drought. Excellent. So when there is no water, right? And you said number number seven is okay. Yes, and that's it. Okay, guys. Very nice. So pretty much those are the ones. All right, there we go. So we have hurricane, we have earthquake, tsunami, tornado, flood or floaty, right? Lava is so the red liquid, disaster, erupt, evacuate, and drought. Guys, what is drought? According to this one, a long period without rain. So especially we call it in El Salvador, El Niño, I believe. So the period in which you um, there is no rain, there is no water, and, and there are no products, right? And no crops. Okay, very nice. Okay, guys, I have some questions for you talking about all these um, disasters. So give me one second and let me move to the next slide. And I have here the following. So what are the best, worst natural disaster movies you have ever seen? Have you ever seen a movie in nat about natural disasters? Um, I just remember um, the day after tomorrow. I don't know if you have seen it. El día después de mañana. So that is the movie that I remember the most. We have what natural disasters are common in El Salvador, guys. Almost all of them. Which country has the most natural disasters? Would you ever volunteer to help after a natural disaster? Or have you ever volunteered to help in a natural disaster? And what would you like to volunteer to do? For example, in an earthquake, would you like to volunteer to, uh, after an earthquake 
I don't know, to build houses, to take food to people, or in a floating, to take the objects out of the houses, furniture out. So would you like to be a volunteer or not your thing? Guys, uh, please take a picture of this one. We are going to uh, speak a little bit. So let's just make some groups here and give your opinion, please. So these are the questions to discuss. And we have a couple of minutes to give your opinion. Guys, if you are ready, if you have the pictures here, if you have the screenshot taken, please go and join the group so we can participate and give opinions. So there you go. Let's go guys, let's go to the groups. <clears throat> Um, so Tatiana, Susana, let's join the groups. Um, okay, there we go. <clears throat> 